I've been asked to do a video by a few different people on how to use Shiva Artist paint sticks on furniture. Um, I'm going to show you how I use them. Um, Shiva sticks, if you're not familiar with them, are a solid oil paint in stick form. So they look kind of like a crayon like this. They come in a ton of different colors. I'm partial to the iridescent line um, because I like the metallic sparkle that they add to my furniture. And they come with, in this little cardboard wrapper and you can kind of push them up and they have a film, sort of like a dried surface on them and you can use, you know, whatever uh, knife I like to use and kind of peel them, peel, the, peel the, the film off, a little bit off the top and the sides. You don't want to peel the whole thing, just what you're going to be using to write with, sort of like you would sharpen a pencil. Um, I am using the um, iridescent blue, purple, and green on this particular piece. And right here, I have my Queen Anne end table. It was a bright, shiny, cherry brown with a glass top. Um, it's got these beautiful claw feet, but they were not um, having any justice done to them. So I sanded, primed it, painted it uh, kind of like an ombre. Um, dark to light brown to give it a little bit of um, variation in color and then I got a wild hair and I decided to paint some cheetah on the legs you can you can see that um, it just needed something and I I love patterns and I love crazy so I thought that that would be kind of fun so I did that on all four legs and then you can see the claw and ball feet here have um, the ball, the balls I've painted gold, and then I sealed it with a um, acrylic sealer, and then I went over it with a black glaze because I really I love glazing things with detail. The glaze sticks in the little crevices and and, and um, details, and it creates kind of like a shadow. And I like to use the Shiva sticks to create a highlight. So I have some dark and some light and it really creates a lot of texture and, um, or depth. It creates a lot of depth visually and it's fun to look at. So when I use the Shiva sticks, I don't usually use more than three at the max, at the max four colors at a time. Um, I like the rainbow look, but when you start to blend too many colors, it looks kind of muddy and kind of turns brown. So. Um, I use, generally I like to use about three of the colors and I try to kind of keep them in, in the same, like in a rainbow order so that they blend nicely and they look um, fairly natural despite how bright and metallic they are. You know, a rainbow is natural and it just kind of blends the colors perfectly and that's kind of what I go for. That's my inspiration when I, need, when I use these is, is, a, is a rainbow. Beautiful, bright, colorful, but but somewhat natural. So, as you can see on this corner, I have already done my Shiva sticks on, on this corner. So, um, having technical difficulties with my um, dollies here, but see how it just kind of looks like it's reflecting the light, shining off, bouncing off the light. And then in the shadows, the darker shadows, it's a little, a little more subtle. But I love color, I love to use color, and these are a great way to add color to your piece without painting the whole thing rainbow. Um, they're also really fun to use. They should be, once you peel the film off, they should be kind of a creamy, oily texture, not crumbly. If they're crumbly, um, it may have gotten dried out, and I would probably invest in a new one. Um, but no, they shouldn't be crumbly. So I've got my nice, smooth, colorful, richly pigmented oil sticks here. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up this corner. So I went from blue to green to purple here on my little rainbow on the corner. And when I'm using these sticks on a piece, I try to stay in the same order throughout the piece so I can get some um, cohesiveness. So it's, so it's not, too crazy. Um, so every time I use the sticks, it's going to be blue, green, purple all over the piece. So blue, green, purple. Um, I'm going to highlight these edges here in this little curve around the, the cheetah leg, I guess I'll call it. 
Um, I, I don't like to color in necessarily on the flat surfaces of the, of the furniture. I use these to highlight details and accents and lines on the furniture. I think that's, I think that's how they're most effectively used. So um, you can see where I've kind of drawn in where I want the color and I use my fingers to just blend gently. I should be a lefty for this video or I should have sat on the other side. Just gently blend with my fingers. You could use a brush if you wanted to, but I prefer to use my fingers um, whenever I can. I just feel like I have more control that way. So just lightly follow the lines of the piece is what I do. Just follow the lines, the curves. Again, I use these to accent the piece, not to necessarily you know, cover the whole piece in it, which you could if you wanted to, that might be kind of cool, but it's not my preference. So after the blue, I'm using the green, and I just want to kind of edge along where I did the blue. And these are, um, the Shiva sticks are permanent. Once they dry, they take about 24 hours to dry, which is great because unlike some gilding waxes that dry almost immediately, these take about 24 hours, so you have plenty of time to blend um, or, you know, fix any blunders that you might have had, that, or, you know, any areas that you're not happy with, you have time to fix, which is awesome. Um, once they do dry, they are fairly hard, um, fade proof, and um, permanent. So when I blend, I'm pretty gentle because if you blend too much, like I said earlier, it kind of turns into a muddy mess. So I blend just enough to kind of overlap the colors a little bit. Oh, I like them to look natural, like somebody kind of spilled, spilled oil, you know, on the edge of the piece. If that's a desirable look, it is to me. So can you see how the blue and the green are still blue and green separately, but they blend together just a little bit. And then lastly, I want to do my purple on the very inside. Some of the colors with darker pigments, um, you can use a little dab and they go a long way. Some of the lighter colors like the purple and the pink, you might have to use a little bit more. But these actually last a lot, they, they last a lot longer. So um, <clears throat> the investment, they're a little higher end on the list of um, um, let's see, on the cost, cost list, I'd say they're a little bit higher of an investment as far as supplies go. But I have had the same sticks for a couple of months now, and I, you can still see that they're almost full. I mean, I, I think they are really well worth every penny. So I blended my purple lightly into my, my green. And I like that, how that looks. Hopefully you can see, just adds a little bit of sparkle over the cheetah print which I'm loving, and I'm gonna turn it this way. Actually, I'm gonna move on down to the foot. I don't know if you can see that, but um, why not keep going down the foot? I'm not just gonna stop there. I'm gonna Shiva this baby up. So, I'm going around the curves of the talons here, just a little bit up the leg so that it kind of points the eye up towards the swoops of the cheetah leg or eagle leg, whatever, whatever leg we have here. I like to point it up just a little bit. Does that make sense? So I, I'm highlighting my talons and then I wanna just kind of curve it up just a little bit to follow that line, points the eye up towards this area and I like it. Blue is one of those colors with a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of pigment. It goes a long way. And like I said, the great thing about these is if you, you know, think you use too much, just wipe some away. 
you got plenty of working time to work with these because they're oil based. And um, like I said, for this particular piece, I sealed it in an acrylic sealer and a glaze, but I've used these directly on chalk paint. I've used them over wax. Um, everyone always says wax is your last step, which I, I agree, wax would be the last step unless you are planning to Shiva stick. I would not wax. I don't wax over the Shiva stick. I do Shiva's last. But that is my personal preference. If I were to put a sealer over them, it would be polyurethane. So blue and then my next rainbow order color, I'm gonna do green. I love these things. They just glide on and they're so pretty. I'm using these crazy rainbow colors. And if you're like, well, I don't like to use those colors. My customers only like neutrals. Well, they come in gold, copper, and silver too. And also an iridescent white, which is kind of pearly. So if you are not a fan of color, you can still use the sticks. Just get you some metallic, metallic gold. If you're not a fan of metallics, then I don't even know who you are because metallics are life. So, got some purple on there is my last color. Wanna kinda up the leg a little. And there I have my finished, beautiful, kind of oil slick rainbow, wild child, cheetah print, eagle talon leg. So I'm gonna move on to the rest of the piece. I've got two legs left. Um, <clears throat> can you see what a difference? Like, I mean, I, I like the leg as it is too, but it's like those sticks just add a whole other dimension, you know, whole other dimension. Oh. So, um, once I get this done, I'm gonna do some liquid gold leaf kind of, um, I, I don't know if splatters is the right word, but I'm gonna kinda do some random, almost like a distress, but of gold leaf around the whole piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other two sticks with my Shiva, uh, the other two legs with my Shiva sticks. Um, if you have any questions or you wanna see some other pieces with the Shiva sticks, you can visit my Facebook page at CC Restyled, so it's C-E-C-E -C -E Restyled on Facebook. Um, shoot me a message there if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer if I can. Um, thanks for watching, have a great day.